here the start date June 2011 for Asia and June 2011 for Latin America and the finish date will be November 2017 and then for Latin America is April 2018. I have a news clip of the Sanofi Global Advisory and verbatim based on up to six years of clinical data the new analysis or old evaluated the long-term safety and efficacy of Dengue in people who have been infected with Dengue prior to vaccination and those who had not. The analysis confirmed that Dengue provides persistent protective benefit against Dengue fever in those who had prior infection, but for those not previously infected by severe Dengue virus. However, the analysis found that in the longer term, more cases of severe Dengue could occur following vaccination upon a subsequent dengue infection. Thus, the CPR should not have been approved because the phase three has not yet been finished and it has been finished November 27 that triggered the product label change. And this is, I'd like to submit this on, on record, sir. Yes, uh, committee secretary, please uh, get the copy of that, uh, of that report. That statement made by uh, Dr. Anthony Leachonich. Si Cairo. Yes, anyway, but uh, your investigation is still ongoing. Pero tanong ko po, ayaw niyo talaga, will you give uh, tissue samples to the DOH? Hindi. Ay, pag-aari ko ng mga magulang ngayon eh. Ba't kong ibibigay? Yung nga ng clinical records ko ng magulang, nahihirapan mo kami sa mga hospital nilang kumuha. Nagpapasubit pa sila ng ID ng magulang. Dalawang re original request. Sa PGH, hindi pa rin namin nakukuha. Dalawa. Ang tanong ko, ang PGH po, natapos na sila yung jam. They have already submitted yung findings. Kayo Ay, po, hindi natapos. kompleto yun. Kasi wala silang tissue. Sinabi ni ma'am, at preliminary pa lang yung kanina. Puro clinical records po, sir, yun. Ang clinical records, iba pa sa talagang clinical history ng parents. Okay. Hindi po kompleto yung clinical records, sir. Ang tanong ko po, natapos yun na ba ang investigasyon ninyo? Doon po sa dalawa, tapos na po. Yung sa dalawang po tapat, iniintay pa po namin ang histopat, histopatological exam. So, in-expand na po ninyo kasi dati ang sa simula ay eh, 14 lang iniimbestigahan ninyo, hindi po ba? Ay, may namamatay mo palagi. That's why nga, ang tanong ko, kung in-expand na ba ninyo sa 26 yung investigasyon? Eh, kasali na po yun. Ang tawin na ho, pati clinical history at saka clinical records. Kailan mo nyo matatapos yung investigasyon ninyo? Ay, sa dalawang tapos na. Ngayon, may dadating yata ang dalawa o tatlo from our pathologist. So, so, out of 26, dalawa pa lang natatapos ninyo? Dalawa pa lang po. At si Dr. RP po, hindi nagsasabing pathologist siya. Meron siyang tinutukoy ng mga pathologist na... Maraming yung nga, yun nga eh, maraming nagkakwestiyong kay Dr. RP. Hindi naman siya nag-declare na pathologist siya. Si Dr. RP, si Dr. RP po, po ang ginagamit ninyong uh, consultant. But according to some medical experts, he is not a pathologist. He is not in a position to to, yun na nga, investigate eh. Well, tama po kayo. Dahil hindi po namin talaga po pwede siya lang. Kaya may tatologist po tayo. At nagpapasalamat po kay Mayor, President Strada, for allowing our, our office to tap uh, the pathologist of Hospital ng Manila Medical Center. Hindi lang naman po yung mga pathologist ng UP ang magaling, sir, in fairness. Sa so, ang daang milyong Pilipino yeah, po tayo, yeah, sir. Pero, Tony Acosta, don't be combative. We're here to help one another. Sir, kasi... Namang, uh, kaya nga sabi ko nga kanina, huwag kayong mag-away dahil uh, para yun naman kayong gobyerno na nga, ayon siya ng gobyerno, ang pakay nato yung investigasyon, hindi tayo pumunta rito para mag-ipag-away or you're not investigating para mag-ipag-away sa PGH. Pero nag ipag sir, pero pag-witness ng akios, bakit sila mag-iimbestiga? Yung mismo akusado mag-iimbestiga? O yung mismo witness ng, ng akusado siyang investigador? Hindi po po pwede sa rin. You know, the DOA, the DOA is really helping also in this uh, subject matter po. Huwag na po muna natin ako sa ang kamang chila. Sa ang kaming secretary. Let us be, let us work with one another po. Sir, inaakusahan, wala po. 
Kasi may patak na ng pangalala doon. Go, 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 Anyway, uh, Walang alam sa batas ang kapal ng mukha. Let's stop at this point. We now recognize the. Ah. Uh, Hindi bisti ka pa pa wala ka mang alam sa batas. Hello. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My first question is directed to the FDA. Um, does the FDA regulate the clinical trials? Yes, Your Honor. Any before any clinical trial is um, started, FDA gives approval. Uh, tama po, Your Honor. Okay, so then you should be aware of the process of clinical trials and eventually the result. Um, Your Honor, for for this particular product, um, nagsimula po yung pag-apply nila ng A clinical trial mafia. approval in 2005 po. Yes, and eventually yung resulta ng clinical trials ang ginagamit. Ang result po, uh, yun po ang isasama dun sa package ng registration, Your Honor, but the result is not actually submitted to FDA. It's only on the approval to conduct the clinical trials. Unfortunately, because of the excitement in all of this, 90% of those who report to the hospital ng Muntinlo patterns out na hindi naman pala talaga may sakit na related to dengue. But all of them go there, sabi nila, nating baksa yata kami. 90% talo nung nagpupunta doon. It becomes a burden to the hospital kasi they have to allocate staff and resources to attend to everyone who goes there. So shouldn't it be, don't, don't you feel the necessity na we should approach this problem with, that we are sober. Let's not rile up emotions. I mean, as you can see, I'm emotional dahil nagagalit din ako kung meron talagang responsible dito eh. But we're relying on you to be able to succeed in prosecuting those so responsible. Let's not mess it up. That's my point. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, the chair now Mr. Chairman. Yes. If I may, a very, yeah, very quick point. Mawalang galang na po at um, kay Attorney Acosta. Nakikisa po tayo dun sa paghanap ng katarungan at ustisya sa lahat po. And I admire them for their perseverance in this quest. Unfortunately, Mr. Chairman, um, earlier it was mentioned by Attorney Acosta that the yellow fever vaccine, that the yellow fever, that the dengue vaccine is also composed of an attenuated, and that means live attenuated yellow fever virus. Nakabahala po, Mr. Chairman, Your Honors, na magsasalita tayo ng ganito. Dahil ang yellow fever po ay napakatinding infeksyon. At marami pong Pilipino, kagaya ako, pag ako'y napupunta sa Africa. Yung atin po mga seafarers, yung atin po mga overseas workers, nagkailangan ang bakuna sa, sa yellow fever virus. Kaya kailangan pong huwag itong idamay and let us prevent ourselves from releasing medical knowledge and medical terminologies kasi marami pang nanonood. For the information of everybody, the yellow fever vaccine has saved lives of a lot of Filipinos. Hindi po, wala pong live attenuated yellow fever virus ang dengue vaccine. A portion of the safest backbone was taken as a carrier of one of the serotypes. Your Honor, kaya ko po ito sinasabi kasi doon po sa mga naglabasang balita, natatakot na po yung ibang mga Pilipino na nagpupunta ng Afrika na magpabakuna sa yellow fever. At ito po ay nakakabahala. With that, Mr. Chairman, allow me to again appeal to the Public Attorney's Office. We are one with you at handa po kami panagutan kung ano man ang mga kaso na nanandiyan dyan. Pero sana naman po. Magkaisa ang lahat ng ahensya ng gobyerno. And let us refrain from making Magkaisa? statements in public that will Mafia be twisted, kayo. misinterpreted, and will redound back to an unhealthy Mafia. population that should be protected, Mafia. especially if they're already outside the Philippines. In addition, Your Honor, neuro viscerotropy pala neurotropy. This can all be seen in the courts in the wards. Manira po ang viscerotropy na nakikita dun lang po sa autopsy or sa biopsy. So with that, I believe the records of the patient, especially the courts in the wards, should demonstrate viscerotropy and neurotropic changes. Tonya Costa, very brief uh, comment. 
Eh, yeah, wala na, walang galang rin po kay Ma'am Garin. Galing po sa Salo, 7 December 2015, nagsabing may visirotropism na side effect. Apat po na risk, inamin ng Sanofi. Bago pa nila bilhin yung gamot, December 22, 2015, si Senator Grodon po ang nagpa-plus dito sa screen. Tapos ito po yung uh, side effects ng yellow fever vaccine. Kasama po ang visirotropism, neurotropism, immunity disorder. Ah. Sir, hindi ako nagsasabi ng kasinungalingan. Ito po ang okay, mga dokumento. Uh, Opo, walang away dapat dito. Eh, gusto pa niya malagot may kaso na po siya eh. Opo, sa kaso siya. Sa kaso siya ng comment, huwag na po tayong uh, pumunta doon. Anyway, uh, the chair now recognizes uh, representative... Uh, Nana. Uh, thank you, Mr. 